How's it going, YouTube? It is a small engine kid here. And this is a part two of continuation from part one of my last video. So in this video, we'll be resurfacing the block and getting it ready to install the new pistons. I'm doing everything you see in this video on a budget. Um, it's not the correct way. The correct way is a lot of money that I don't feel like spending on this build. So you will need need a permanent marker I prefer the black because it's easier to see on the, uh, the silver here and you're gonna coat the entire area of this area right here in black sharpie so just like this just grab the marker and just cover the entire surface from this black marker so I got the whole surface covered in sharpie and what this does is that when you sand it when you resurface it um, you're going to go side to side, right? And But when you resurface it, if there's still Sharpie in some spots, it means that this surface isn't completely flat. And you're going to have to keep going and keep going until there's no more Sharpie left on the block. So now you're going to want to get uh, 120 grit sandpaper and something to attach the sandpaper with, whether it be a piece of wood, a piece of sheet metal, something flat so that you can go as flat over top of this and smoothly as possible so that you get every little area. All right, I know this looks a little ghetto, but it is a budget. So I found this piece of little uh, plywood here and I taped up some um, 100 grit sandpaper. I know I said 220, but I did some research and it says you can go as low as 80. Um, so I, I taped it to this plywood and now it's, it's almost the exact same size as this. It's the closest I could find that's flat. Now you're just going to sand it you know, side to side, just like this. And I'll get back to you once I get done in a few minutes of sanding. Okay, so I've been sanding for about a couple minutes now. Um, this is what I have so far. So there's still some Sharpie around the block guard and some around here. So um, that means that, especially around here, this is very low compared to over here. So I'm going to keep sanding until it's all nice and shiny. So I've been sanding for about 10-15 minutes now. And I'm going to wipe it down and see what it looks like. Make sure you get a shop rag or a towel that you don't really care about. And just wipe it down. Still got to sand a little bit right here. Overall, looks a lot better. By the way, I'm not using a flash on my camera, it's just the light. Alright, this is after sanding for about half an hour. Yes, it's very time consuming, but it's free. Um, it just takes a little bit of elbow grease um, to get to this result. Um, over here, you realize that there's still black Sharpie, but because um, that happens is because the, the block guard is actually lower in this position. I gotta hammer it down more, but it's all flush over here as you can see. But um, I'm gonna go over with 320 grit just to get these uh, deeper scratches out you don't have to do that um, you can leave it at this stage I'm doing this because in case that there's any burrs that you can't see or feel um, so they don't go in the engine so with 320 grit it'll get rid of all that stuff so I'm gonna go over with 320 grit same uh, process as the way we did with the 100 and then I'll show you when it's done so here's the, uh, the 320 grit I'm going to put it like this, fold the sides, and then tape it like before, and then we'll get back to resurfacing. All right, and there you have it. All the deep scratches are now out. It's super smooth to the touch. I measured everything. Everything's still flat. Everything's good to go. I have no flash on, no polish, no nothing, just sandpaper, 80 grit and 320 grit. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment.
and I'll see you guys in part three. Thanks.